everyone, welcome back and thank you for joining me today. So before I get started, I wanted to talk a little bit about the giveaway and last video and how I forgot a few things because if I don't write things down and I'm busy chit-chatting, I forget things. So congratulations to the winners. Um, there were, in last video, I mentioned six winners. Guess what? There's supposed to be seven winners. Yep, seven. So there's another lucky winner. Um, so winner number one was Carla Coniti. Um, then it was Mark Fixel, um, winner number two. Winner number three was Linny Keeble. Um, then Adriana Smith, then Jenny Trana. And uh, six was D. Lay, um, D. L. D. Lay. And then um, there was supposed to be a seven because I had seven prizes, which I totally mocked up and totally forgot. So um, the first place winner chose a custom piece by me. So I'll be doing a custom piece for Carla. Um, Mark, who was the second winner, decided to choose the $100 um, gift card towards uh, the purchase of another piece of mine. Um, third place winner chose um, a portrait by Ben Martin. So Ben will be um, doing a portrait for um, Linny. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about Ben's contact information. I will put that in the description below. Um, you can email him um, Ben dot martin dot art 22 at gmail.com i'm pretty sure that's what it is but i will have it in the description below so if you're interested in a portrait from ben um you can email him speaking of ben i spoke to ben regarding the light blue and the dark blue piece that i made for him in the last video and he just like me really wants the piece to be resined so I have decided to, um, well, he's going to ship back the white canvas and um, we worked out on a little deal and I'm going to resin all three of them for him. Now the white piece is um, varnish, top coated with the Liquitex gloss varnish. A lot of people ask me, can you resin over varnish? Yes, you can. No problem. So Ben sending me the piece back. I will resin all three of them. And then I will be able to show you guys all three pieces side by side together. I can't wait. I'm sure you can't wait either. Um, next winner, Adriana Smith chose um, the charcuterie board by Backwood Designs. Um, if you're interested in any pieces from Lindsay, I again will put her information in the description below. She also has a YouTube channel. She's just starting it out. So if you're interested in heading on over to her YouTube channel, and subscribing to her channel that would be great she's just getting started but she has quite a big following on instagram so i will link her instagram info in the description below as well so her contact info will be um, there as well if you're interested in any beautiful wood pieces with a beautiful resin ocean pour design on them she does amazing work so i'll put that in the information below jenny trana who was the next winner decided on the crystal resin kit. I totally forgot there's a crystal resin kit. And so that's one of the prizes and she chose that. So there's gonna be a mini kit sent out to her. Um, D, D Lay, I haven't heard from you yet, so please get in touch with me. Um, and the last person whose name I randomly picked, um, the winner of the seventh prize, and I don't know how to pronounce this properly, but it's Prophetus fry um so i know you comment on my videos i've seen you before i will try and find a comment and hopefully you see you watch this and you hear that you won the seventh prize um so the other two prizes left were a calendar from me and um the lowly veffy 100 dollars gift card so there's those two prizes left to be claimed by the last two winners um, I am picking up a shipment of calendars. I got a few extras. Those of you who have already pre-ordered one, thank you very much. I ordered a few extra. I will show you guys the calendars in the next video, but I'm picking them up hopefully today. Um, so I'm very excited about that. So if you're interested in a calendar, 2021 calendar, um, please email me at canalasoraco at gmail.com. So that's it about the giveaway. So congratulations to everyone who won. Um, thank you everyone who participated and thank you to everyone for helping me reach 100,000 subscribers. I'm super excited about that. Um, I wanted to show you guys some 
wood pieces that I got from my wood guy the other day. Um, very cool pieces. You may have seen them on Instagram if you are on Instagram, but I got this cool piece. This is the Philadelphia Eagles NFL team. It is on an MDF wood round. So that's pretty neat. My wood guy did such an awesome job. Um, so there's that. I will put this here. And then we have Kansas City Chiefs, the winners of uh, the Super Bowl, right? I'm not much of a football fan. I know my husband is, but um, so that's pretty neat. Got that going. Kansas City Chiefs. And of course, you've all seen this before, um, but I had another one done. The Pittsburgh Steelers logo. So that's pretty cool. So my wood guy can pretty much do about anything. So uh, like I said, email me. CanelaSiraco at gmail.com. All right. So um, I don't think I have anything else to say. I don't have any pieces to show you outside. I still got a varnish varnish I still have to resin um the I was gonna say pewter see I gotta do a pewter background I gotta resin the periwinkle um Dutch pours I still gotta do those and I gotta resin the orange one as well I just don't have the time oh so much so much to do um but no not enough time today's pour is going to be the um iridescent blue black by Pebeo. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Um, we shall see. So I will bring you guys down on the canvas. I don't have any outdoor stuff to show you right now because I haven't had time to resin anything. Been spending a lot of time with the family and the kids and the dogs. We had a whole day trip yesterday. Went to see some scenic caves. It was really cool and exhausting. Hiking is exhausting if you're out of shape, let me tell you. Um, but let's get down to the painting and we'll get started. Be right back. all right guys welcome back as you can see i have already gone ahead and flooded my canvases what i have here is a 10 by 20 and a 10 by 20 diptych um so i flooded the canvas already now before i did that i had painted the sides i just took a paintbrush and paint right out of the tube and i painted all my edges and i had to do it twice it needed two coats um because this here was very transparent even though see it's got the little three dots there um you could see through the canvas so i added a second coat of uh of paint along the sides and it was perfect and i've gone ahead and flooded everything and so the base color as i mentioned is the iridescent blue black by studio pebe acrylics and if you want to know how i mix my paints in my squeeze bottles and for the same for the base paint um, check out video number 63. I will link it up at the top for you and you can check it out and that's how I mix my paints. So the colors I'm going to be using today are, um, and I didn't get this off Pinterest. I just, this time I kind of, you know, winged it and kind of figured it out on my own. Um, so we have Deep Sapphire by Deco Art. If you move my spatula out of the way, I use that to spread out my paints and don't forget, make sure your canvas is level before you start painting. That is a must. Okay, so Deep Sapphire by Deco Art. Then we have Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. Then, I haven't used this color in a while, Teal Green by Deco Art. So there's that. Then we have Berry by Deco Art. And then we have, I'm gonna use Pearl. I had silver in there, but I took it out and I decided to use Pearl. So Pearl by Deco Art. Gosh, is everything Deco Art almost? Pretty much. Um, and then we have Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. So those are the colors I'm gonna use. And I want them to go in the other order. Remember, the color you want to show the most is going to be the color you put last on the canvas. All right, so I'm just going to pop the bubbles really quick. And then I'm going to figure out how I'm going to lay these lines down. I think I want to try something different. 
let's see here. I think I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. What if I did like a half crescent moon shape? Or a line going upwards. A line going upwards. I haven't done a line going upwards. If I did a corner and a corner, actually I could do corners. Oh, I don't know what I want to do. I should have thought about this. I could go across and across and blow them in and do that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Although going upwards and having two panels, long rectangular panels with it going like that would also be good. So actually, you know what? Let me know in the comments below, if I do this size again, do you want to see the same style I'm going to do now where I'm going to do just the corners? Or do you want to see um, a squiggle line going um, vertically? Because I haven't done vertically. I've done diagonal. I've done across horizontally, but I've never done um, vertical lines. So let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, I will start at this corner and come down and then I will start at this corner. No, if I'm going this way. Yeah, sorry, this corner. I would have gone the wrong way. That would have sucked. Um, and this corner and go across. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's figure it out, shall we? So I want to start in the corner and end up in the middle. That's that's what I'm aiming for. And I have no idea if that's going to work out, but we shall see. <laughs> I'll start in the middle here. It'll be easier like that. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. But it will be interesting. I dropped the drop there. It will be interesting to see um, if I did just vertical lines. Oh, did I literally put my nozzle in there? I did. Silly me. All right. Yeah, it'll be interesting to blow it out this way and this way, and we'll see what comes about. This teal green, I haven't used this in a really long time. Actually, I'm going to give it one more quick shake. And uh, it'll be interesting to see this color. That's a pretty color. All right, followed by, I just, I thought I was going to use garnet, but I've been using that a lot and it's been a while since I used this berry. So I'm going to, I decided to switch it up and choose the berry instead. Okay. And same with the pearl. I use silver and the gold a lot. I did shape this, right? Okay. I don't know if I did. I did now. All right, and let's do some pearl, almost like a beautiful white. And finally, one of my favorite colors, the metallic cobalt blue on top. That is a lot of paint, but that's okay. All right, so let's uh, torch these bubbles real quick. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I, I really debated whether I should put the berry in there or not, and I wanted a little bit of contrast from all the blues, but I don't know if that was a good move or not. We are going to find out, so let's blow this out and see what happens. Right, so that blew out really nicely now I gotta figure out kind of backwards and do it backwards um, let's start this way and then figure it out I'm blowing I'm noticing my nozzle on my hair dryer is starting to fall off thank god it didn't fall off in the painting that would have sucked 
It's so pretty though. I think I'm gonna blow a little bit more down here though. Cause I was concentrating on my hair dryer and uh, I didn't blow this part pretty good. Oh, and the nozzle, look at that. Literally almost fell right off. I gotta retape that. Oh, but it's so pretty. I like this. And I like, I really like the negative space. I'm gonna just look at this for a sec. The cells are really pretty too. Now it'll be interesting to see how this dries because you know, this blue black is gonna dry darker, right? So it'll be very interesting to see how it dries, but I like it, it's something different. And I like the way of the, I like the composition, how this ended up. It's really pretty and I'm really loving the blues. I'm so, so on the berry but it's still a nice pop of color, which is nice. Okay, I am going to bring you guys down for a close up. And again, I will show you guys with the studio lights on and then I'll turn the lights off and we'll see the difference between the two. Be right back. All right, guys, so let me show you guys up close with the studio bright white lights. And I'm not gonna do a viewer's choice in this one because I gotta work on a commission piece next for the next video. So um, in the next video, we'll do a viewer's choice, um, but I gotta work on some pieces for some clients and uh, then we'll move on to another background. I'm really loving this though. It's so pretty. I really love the uh, blue green here by Pebeo and the cells are pretty cool too. I, I got a nice cluster right there. That looks really pretty. So let me show you guys what it looks like without these dreaded bright white lights on. Be right back. Okay guys, I have turned these studio lights off and let's see what it looks like without them. Once again, lots of shimmer going on. Sorry about the pot light there, but it's better than the white studio lights. But it's pretty neat actually, the more I look at it, the more I'm really liking it. It's just a matter of how is it going to dry is the question. But in the meantime, please let me know what you guys think in the comments below and uh, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new watching. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to check out my son Lucas, his YouTube channel and Juno and Echo as well. They are a barrel of laughs those two and echoes getting so big already so check out those channels they are listed in my description below my amazon links are are listed below for anyone who shops on amazon click on the link that is helpful to me um thank you to everyone who's been donating to my channel donating to lucas you guys have been super kind and super generous i cannot thank you guys enough and to my daughter sophia <laughs> so Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you guys have a lovely, what day is it today? Saturday, rest of your Saturday and enjoy the weekend. Um, to my fellow Canadians, happy long weekend. Monday is a holiday, so um, enjoy that. Stay safe, be good, be happy. Have a good one guys. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I will see you guys soon. Take care, bye.